to AOS, Mr. Dex Tanksley. Happy to be here. What is one thing you really love about your job as an Imagineer? Everything, every day is a new day. Everything, every, every thing that comes through the doors as an idea to be developed um, is kind of like a pie in the sky type of idea. Um, someone's, someone was in a hot air balloon uh, over the weekend and they come in with, hey, wouldn't it be great if we did this and we tie it to one of these new attractions that we're doing? And there's no such thing as a bad idea. Um, it's just an idea that just needs to be plussed. Um, when, um, when you talk, when you hear about the Pixar stories, uh, Ed Catmell is known for saying, every one of their movies starts out as an ugly baby. And he, what he means by that is, it's a raw idea. And what happens is, as you start to um, partner and collaborate with people, people start plussing the idea and making it, you know, they take it from a concept to a feasibility, to a feasibility level. And then they start moving forward into a schematic level and then a, you know, um, a level where they do more development. And so that gem of a, or that spark of a, of a new and great idea, um, you've got several people bringing their, their perspectives to that work. And then it ends up being the, whether it's a Pixar movie or whether it's a new attraction in our parks, it, it ends up being this masterpiece that everyone loves to, to talk about or it stays with you. And it's not just the physical experience of being on the ride, it's that intangible, right? It's that intangible that you walk away with, wow, how did they do that? What do you do when you have a challenge that you need to over, overcome? So like maybe a building flaw or something, what do you do to overcome that challenge? Well, here at Imagineering, we do nothing by ourselves. It's all about project teams. It's all about collaboration. So when you work, uh, in my years of being an architect, uh, when you work on a project, you may have two or three or four or five more architects sitting on the project with you. Whether it's a land that you're designing, whether it's an, uh, a restaurant or a shop or an attraction or a hotel, there's more than just one of you on a particular project. It's a family. It's a partnership. We're all working together. And, uh, you know, there's thousands of Imagineers that come together to bring that one experience to our guests in, in an attraction. So what is it like, like working for Disney, like a big company like Disney? You know, I was telling Jonathan years ago, um, when you start working on one project and then you go to another project and you go to another project over the years, you end up stepping back and looking at the work and saying, oh my gosh, I've just, I've now designed something that is in every park that we own or every park across the world. And um, so someone is in a building that I've designed every second of the day. It's just so much that the company does. Um, and I'm, even though I'm a part of doing amazing things, I'm still a fan. Like the Mandalorian is my favorite and baby Yoda, right? I mean, those things, even though I'm in this world, you sit back and you're like, wow, how did they do that? And I'm an Imagineer. What do you think the best part about uh, your job is as an Imagineer? Wow. So I'm, I'm in a new role um, as of a couple months ago. I'm a, the, the lead of the facilities and operations uh, studio here at Walt Disney Imagineering, as well as in Florida. Uh, but in the years that I worked as an architect and a project manager, um, the thing that is the most gratifying experience to me was working on attractions where where moms and dads or grandparents say, I can't believe that they've just done this amazing thing, or we just got off of this ride, or we just had this experience where we've moved people to tears or to joy or excitement. And when you do that in a physical three-dimensional environment like our parks, that's art, right? Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, uh, sir. Then, and thank you all.